so today I want to show you guys what it's like taking uh, my service dog to school with me. So I'm going to just take you through our routine and so you can see what that's like. First thing that I do in the morning after I'm up and dressed is I take Scout for a nice long walk to tire her out and let her use the bathroom and so that's what I'm going to go do now. So I'll show you a little bit of that. Morning Scout, you ready to go for a walk? <laughs> that's a yes. You ready to go? Let's go for a walk. Yay! <laughs> Scout, you cannot bring the bully stick with you on the walk. She always likes to do this. She tries to bring something with us on our walk. No, the bully stick has to stay here, okay? Come on, you ready? Let's go! I'm out walking Scout, and it's 50 degrees here today, so I've got my coat on to keep warm, and we're having a good time. Scout, you having fun time? Woohoo! Very pretty trees here. Scout, what did you think of our walk? We're back now. I'm really happy. You liked our walk? That was fun, huh? So, I guess I tired her out because she came in and went back to bed. You sleepy goose! Aww, poor sleepy Scout. <laughs> So after we take our morning walk, I eat some lunch and I do my makeup, which I have already done, and then we just get ready and head to school. So that's what we're going to do now. Scout's in her vest and we're ready to go. So we're just going to get in the car. All right, we're all ready to go. So now it's just time for me to drive to school and then we'll just go into class. And if you're wondering what I packed for her in my backpack, I have a blanket. I have stuff to clean up anything. Should there be, you know, should she get sick or something? Um, she's three years old, so she hasn't had an accident out in public for a very, very, very long time, but you know, you can't ever tell if your dog's gonna throw up or something. So I keep it with me just in case. I've never had to use it, but just in case. Um, I also packed her things to chew on and some extra treats in case I were to run out, which again, I never have, but just in case. And I think that's it. I'm not sure if I said a blanket or not, but I packed her a blanket too um, for her to be comfortable and lay on. I've trained her to know to lay on the blanket when I lay it down, so I've got that as well. And I believe that's it. Oh, and I have a collapsible water bowl because I give her water in between classes. believe that's it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, just going to drive to school now and... Then we're gonna head to class. We just got to school and unfortunately on the way here, I was hit with this wave of fatigue, which is um, a big part of fibromyalgia. So um, there's not much I can do about it. This is just part of living with fibro. Sometimes this happens but Scout's pretty excited to be at school. Aren't you, Scout? <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. We're gonna walk to class now, and then we're gonna learn about macroeconomics. Okay, Scout, come on, this way. There we go. You sit? Sit? Yeah! That's great elevator manners. Going up. Hey, sit. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, wait. Good. Wait. Okay, let's go. Good 
girl, what's up? Here you go. Good girl. This way. Yes, that's a good girl. So we are all done for the day and it's raining so we're just gonna get to the car as fast as possible. Scout walking in the car. Scout! Good girl, you're awesome. Yay. Okay, so we are all done with classes for the day. There's Scout back there relaxing. And she was absolutely incredibly well behaved today in my macroeconomics class. She, you know, kept her focus on me for most of the class and then eventually she lay down and rested, which was awesome. And then we had a half an hour break in between where we sat in the middle of the school where there's a lot of activity. She was, she watched, but she was very cool about everything there and then we went to photography class where we were moving around the room you know looking at everybody's work on their computers so I had to keep moving her and readjusting her and she did pretty well with that it's taken some time for her to get used to our routine and and get used to the classrooms and things but you know we're on I think week 10 now of this fall semester and she's doing absolutely incredible now that you know we've we've done this so many times so yeah I'm very very happy with how she's been doing at school and that's it so that's what it's like bringing your dog to bring your service dog I should say to school and so now what I usually do is I go home, have some dinner, and then I'll relax in the evening. Sometimes because of fibromyalgia, I have to take a nap in the evening after class. Like sometimes it wipes me out, but I'm feeling okay today. So I might be able to get some stuff done, like some homework or cleaning the house or whatever. Um, so now we're just gonna head home and I might stop at a market on the way home. So, if I do that, I will take a video, but that's all. Okay, we came to the market to get some pumpkins because tomorrow's Halloween and uh, I'm gonna carve some pumpkins tomorrow. So, gonna go do that now. All the pumpkins! Got the ones that I want. Ready to go home now? All right, so we got our pumpkins and I got a few sweet treats for my family. And now I'm just gonna go home and have some dinner and get some things done, hopefully. So that's it. So that's what my school day looks like. I don't typically come to this market after school, but you know, I wanted to get pumpkins. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. So, bye, see you next time.